Be careful, boys. That basket's heavy. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way myself. That's too heavy for you, Caillou. Here, let me take it. Caillou wished he could be big and strong like his daddy. <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> Where are you going? It's almost time to eat. I'm not hungry. Rosie, hungry. Oh, oh, no, you don't. Cows eat grass, not little Rosies. Can we play on the monkey bars until lunch is ready? All right. Can I come too? I love the monkey bars. Caillou <laughs> 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 was tired of being small. He wanted to be big and strong. <laughs> what a boost, little monkey. first to try them out. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other one only has four. Daddy, can I try, please? One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> Very good, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't make it to the end of the monkey bars. I'm going to be a monkey, too. Oh, oh, ah, ah. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> good for you, Leo. Can I try again? You sure can. One, two, really wanted to keep going, but his arms were tired and sore, and his fingers just couldn't hold on any longer. Ugh. I can only do four. You went further than I did. Four's a lot. Five, too. On the old bars, that would have been all the way to the end. But I want to go all the way across on these monkey bars. We'll have to get a little stronger first. How can I get stronger? I know the answer to that one. Do you want me to tell you? Yes! Hmm. <laughs> to grow up big and strong, you have to... I can't tell you. <laughs> Daddy! Okay, I'll tell you. At the picnic blanket, it's time for lunch. <laughs> okay! Yay! Yay! Flutterby, Flutterby, Flutterby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mommy. We were swinging like monkeys. Well, I think I have just the thing for two little monkeys. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like feeding time at the zoo. Tell us, Daddy. Tell you what? Tell us what we have to do to grow up big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> to grow up big and strong, you have to... Wait a minute. You already know. Who told you? We don't know. Tell us. To grow up strong, you have to eat healthy food, like fruits and vegetables and sandwiches. And you have to drink healthy drinks, like juice and milk. 
already. I already knew that. <laughs> it also helps to get lots of sleep at night and lots of exercise during the day. That's really just another word for playing. Getting strong is going to be easy, because those are all my favorite things. Me too! I'm going to be really, really strong! Hmm. Hmm. Would like some more milk? Me, me, me! Me too, please! No! <laughs> Hi, Caillou! Billy, my chain fell off! you go, Clem. Thanks, Billy. Hey, Caillou. You're sure getting strong. Really? I am? Sure. You were way too little to lift that last year. Really? Hey, Daddy, guess what? I am getting stronger, see? Caillou knew it would take a long time to grow really big and strong. But he could get a little bit stronger every <laughs> single day. <laughs> I want to be big right now. I want to be big right now. I want to be big right now. I want to do the things that grown-ups do right now. If I was big, I could drive a real fancy car. If I was big, I could be a famous soccer star. I could go to the I'm going to wash the front windows. Can I help? Sure thing. Whoa! Caillou fall down. That bucket's a bit big for you to carry, Caillou. Here, why don't you carry these? I'll bring the bucket. <laughs> there, all done. We did a good job, didn't we? We sure did. Thanks for helping, Caillou. <laughs> is that bike getting smaller, or is my little girl growing bigger? Yay! <laughs> now. <laughs> Look at me, Daddy! You're getting big, too. Hi, Caillou. Want to go for a ride? Can I go? Sure. Can I come along, too, Sarah? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rosie's trike. You have your own bicycle, Daddy. Oh. Caillou 
was upset that his training wheels were slowing him down. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, can I try riding without my extra wheels like Sarah? Are you sure you're ready to take your training wheels off? I want to try, Daddy. Please. I rode my bike with training wheels for a long time, Caillou. I only took them off a little while ago. I'm a big boy now, see? I don't need extra wheels. All right, let's give it a try. But you're going to have to practice and be patient. Switching to two wheels isn't easy. Can we go home and take them off right now? Why not? Caillou imagined he was bicycling without his training wheels and racing with yeah. the grown-ups. <laughs> Caillou, where are you going? You were going so fast, you missed the turn. It's back this way. Come on, Caillou. Go, Caillou! You can do it! Yeah! Whoa! Daddy, don't let go! Phew. Maybe we should stop for a rest and try again later. Tired, Daddy? understand why he couldn't ride his bike without the training wheels. I think my bike is getting tired. Come on, Rosie. Let's get you changed out of those wet things. Caillou, can you help Rosie with her shoes while I get the phone? Okay, Rosie. No, I do it, Caillou. the wrong foot, Rosie. I do it! You've got your shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> Let me help you. No, I do it. I big girl. <laughs> Rosie fell down. Something's not quite right here, sweetie. Let's see. Riding without training wheels is hard, isn't it? Why can't I do it? Maybe you're just not ready yet. Like Rosie with her shoes? Yeah. Someday she'll be able to put on her shoes by herself and you'll be riding that bike all over the neighborhood. You'll see. Maybe I should keep the extra wheels on for a little while longer. I think that's a good idea. Because you know what? There's a right time for everything. Want to go for a bike ride? But I can't keep up with you. That's okay. This time I'm not on my bike. I'm just learning to rollerblade, so don't go too fast. Don't worry, Sarah. I won't. What's so funny? You need training wheels, Daddy. You're going too fast. Whoa. <laughs> I think you're right, Caillou. Oh, 
Robert. It's only a storm. Nothing to be a scaredy cat about. Caillou knew the noise was just the wind blowing, but he was still a little afraid of the storm. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> Rosie, are you okay? Rosie's scared. Don't be afraid, Rosie. <gasps> Caillou knew that Rosie was a lot more scared than he was. He wanted to help his little sister <laughs> to not be so afraid. <laughs> That's just the wind blowing, Rosie. It's going woo, woo, woo. Go to sleep, Rosie. Woo, woo, woo. Nighty night, Rosie. Nighty night, Caillou. Caillou was glad Rosie felt better. In fact, he felt better, too. He wasn't afraid of a silly old storm. The next day, Mommy took Caillou to play school. It looks like that was quite a storm last night. I slept through the whole thing. Uh-oh. Look, the storm blew over that oak tree. Oh, what a shame. It was such a lovely old tree. Is it okay? I don't think so, Caillou. Its roots have been pulled up. They'll probably plant another tree there, though. Trees are very special. That corner just wouldn't look the same without one. Caillou always saw that tree on the way to play school. He was sad that it wouldn't be there anymore. Looks like we're gonna have to make a detour. What's a detour? It means we can't take our usual road to the play school today, so we'll have to go another way. tree that got knocked down and it was lying right on the road i saw it too the wind blew it right over hey caillou i bet these ponies were really rocking in the storm good morning last night's storm made a real mess of our playground so today we're cleaning up would you like to help okay sure. <laughs> look that bird is fixing his nest with that stick I'll leave some more here in case the birdie needs them. Caillou and his friends worked and worked until the playground was all cleaned up. This looks much better. Thanks for your help. This sand is too piled up to play cars. Let's build a road. Yeah! yeah. Let's build a road. I know just what we need. I'll be right back. I'll drive the bulldozer that clears the way for the road. Vroom, vroom. I'll drive the truck that pours the hot pavement. Glop, glop, glop. And I'll drive that, that thing with the, with the rolly thing. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Martin, what's the name of that big truck that drives over things and makes them flat? It's called a steamroller, Leo. Steamroller! I'm driving the steamroller! Vroom! 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 Wait! Where's our road going to? To the lakes under the swings! Good idea! Right. Vroom! Vroom! our road through the river, which means we need a bridge. We can put two blocks on the sides and one block in the middle of the river. Look out! Crane coming through! <laughs> crane, crane coming, coming through! through. Crane, crane coming, coming through! through. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Lower! Lower! Perfect! Strong enough to hold ten elephants! Bye! 
But is it strong enough to hold one giant foot? No! <laughs> it's not that strong. Aw, too bad. Let's build some more road. Stop! This mountain is too steep. We're gonna have to dig a tunnel. I'll start digging on this side. <laughs> I can see you. Look, it's a big old tree. Don't do that, Clementine. It's right in our way. Drive over it, Caillou. Caillou remembered the big tree that was blown down on the road and what his mummy had said about trees. No, we have to leave it alone. Trees are special. Uh-huh. Birds live in them. We're going to have to make a detour. What's that? A detour is when you have to go a different way to get somewhere. We're going to go around the tree. Vroom, vroom. We made it to the lake. All done. And here's a boat for rides on Swing Lake. I don't need a boat. I'm going for a swim. Children. Come inside for story time. Aw, I'll go for a swim later. Race you to the door. Look! <laughs> go, squirrel! <laughs> Caillou's building adventure. Jam sandwiches, too? They're my favorite! <laughs> okay, Caillou. Caillou loved helping his mommy. And today they were making lots of sandwiches. I can do it! All done! That's great! Here, let me cut it in half. See? I'm going to cut it into two... Two triangles! You'll have to wait until lunchtime. That looks like a strawberry jam Caillou special. Do you want Daddy to put it in the box for you? Oh, boy! We'd better get going. They're gonna need a lot of helpers to build that house. Can I come too? I wanna help build the house. Sorry, Caillou. We'll be really busy working. And there's nothing for you to play with over there. You've already been a great help by making those sandwiches for the workers. Caillou still wanted very much to go with Daddy and Grandpa and help build the house. What if Caillou went for a quick visit with you? I'll drop Rosie off at Grandma's and Caillou can come home with me when I bring everybody's lunch. Sounds like a good plan to me. Yay! Let's go! Yay! Let's go! Daddy and Grandpa were helping a lot of other people build a house for a family that didn't have one. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait to see what everyone was doing. Just a minute, Caillou. Safety is very important here. That's why we wear work boots, to protect our feet. I've got my boots on. Good for you. We also need hard hats to protect our heads. Which one would you like? I can help. How about helping me by uh, uh, carrying these nails? <laughs> okay. This place can be dangerous, Caillou. You'll have to pay attention and be very careful, okay? Why? Well, you don't want to get in anybody's way while they're working. Just stay close to Grandpa and me, all right? Caillou was a little scared, but he felt safe because he was staying right by his grandpa and daddy. Caillou loved to watch people working. Hello! Let me give you a hand there. See you later. Hi, Sam. This is my son, Caillou. 
Pleased to meet you, Caillou. Say, I could use some of those nails. I just ran out. Oh, here you go. Thank you. I just need a couple to finish this wall. Then we can put it up. Caillou didn't think this looked much like a wall at all. Want to help, Caillou? Uh huh. Count to three for us so we'll all lift at the same time. One, two, three, lift! <laughs> <laughs> With lots of holes. We'll fix that real soon. With everybody helping, our house will be finished in no time. Sam's family is going to live in this house when it's done. That's his son right over there. Why don't you see if he wants to play? Hi, I'm Caillou. I'm Frankie. Wanna help? Caillou was very proud that he could help. He felt like a real house builder. Caillou? Caillou! I think we've got enough gravel for the moment. Thanks for all your hard work. Is this really gonna be your house? Yep, we live in an apartment now. But when the house is ready, I'm gonna have my very own room. Wanna see it? Daddy, can I go look at Frankie's new room, please? Sure, but I'll come with you. Remember, we have to be careful around here. This is it. My room! Yippee! It's big! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my window. I can see the whole street from here. This is going to be a great room, Frankie. Mommy's here. You know what that means. Lunch time! Thank you. Jam! That's my favorite! Mine too! <laughs> Caillou liked his new friend, Frankie. It looks wet! It's soft too! Look! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> I've got an idea. You are both helping to build this house, so why don't you leave your mark? How about a handprint? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Caillou, it's time to go. Look, Mommy, I left my mark. Bye, Caillou. Come and visit me in my new house when it's done. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait to see Rosie and Grandma and tell them all about his great Building adventure. Working together. Hey, Leo, do you want to help me build a castle? Sure, Caillou. Working together, we can build anything. Like a real big castle that is fit for a king. If we take our time and work as one, we'll go step by step till we get the job done. We need the right equipment. We need the right clothes. A tractor to move things and a truck to bowl. Let's draw up a plan, then clear the site. We can move these trees to the left or the right. Let's use our shovels and start to dig. Cause we want our castle to be very big. Let's, Let's build, build it high up to, to the, the sky. sky. And keep out the water so our castle is dry. Now I hear there's a dragon, so we must build a gate. So make sure you measure, make sure that it's straight. Now we're almost done, let's close the door. We can build anything! A house 
It was a beautiful summer day, and Caillou the Explorer had found an anthill. Rosie! Come see what I found! Scared, Rosie. Daddy! They're just little ants. Mm. Ants can't hurt you, can they, Daddy? Well, some ants bite, but the ants we have here don't. They're perfectly safe. Upsy daisy! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Caillou wondered what it would be like to be really really small, like an ant. Yippee! Again. Where have you been? Can I take a look? Sure. They're really small, so you have to use this. <laughs> <laughs> they tickle. Me too. Ooh. That was Carol. Remember Carol from high school? Well, she's moved to the city and wants me to come over tomorrow. She has a little boy, Caillou. His name is Kevin, and he's four. I'm four, too. Can I come with you, Mommy? Of course you can, but it's a long car ride. You'll have to bring some books to look at. It was a very, very long trip. Are we there yet, Mommy? No, Caillou, but we're getting close. Caillou knew he should be patient and wait. But he was starting to think they would never get there. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Caillou was bored. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Where's Kevin's house, Mommy? Kevin lives in this apartment building, way, way up on the 17th floor. Wow. Tall buildings like this are called skyscrapers, Caillou. Can you guess why? Because they go so high up, they scrape the sky. Right. Would you like to go up and meet Kevin now? Caillou had never met anyone who lived in the sky before. He could hardly wait to go inside. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I press the button? We're going to 17. One, seven. Mommy, my tummy feels funny. Each door leads to a different apartment where a different family lives. Hmm. How does Kevin know which one is his door? Each door has a number on it, see? Kevin lives at number 10. Ooh. Eight. Nine. Here it is, number 10. Well, hello there. Carol! So good to see you. And this must be Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Caillou. Hi. Want to see my room? Okay. Can we go play in your backyard? I don't have a backyard. But I have a park that I go to every day. Me too! With swings and a big slide! 
Indeed. Do you want to see my park? Yeah! Can I press the buttons in the elevator? Caillou didn't know what Kevin was doing. He thought he was going to show him the park. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. He had never seen a view like this before. Wow! Everything looked so small. See over there? That's my park. We're up in the sky with the birds! <laughs> Look! You have ants in your backyard, too! Caillou thought the people down below looked like little ants. Just like the ones in his backyard. I'm making a skyscraper that goes all the way up to the clouds. Can I help? Yep. Okay, Caillou, time to go home. My goodness, you two have been busy. We made a skyscraper, Mommy. See? It's very impressive. Can Kevin come and play at our house someday? Of course. Kevin and his mom can come for a visit anytime. When you come, be sure to bring lots of books for the car ride, because it's a long, long way away. Did you and Kevin have fun? Uh-huh. Kevin's home sure is different from ours, isn't it, Mommy? Yes, it is. But I bet you and Kevin still have a lot of things in common. We sure do. We both have ants in our backyards. Ants? Caillou and his family were having dinner. Everybody was eating, everybody except Rosie. Please finish your supper, sweetie. What's wrong, Rosie? Look, Rosie, I'm all done. You haven't eaten a thing. Rosie, not hungry. <laughs> but spaghetti is yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Caillou wondered why his little sister was so upset. And the mommy and daddy watched the baby bird flap his wings and fly all by himself. They thought the baby bird was getting to be a big boy. I, I mean, a big bird. The end. That was a very good story, Caillou. Thank you. Tweet, tweet. Look, Daddy, I'm a baby bird! Tweet, tweet! And I am the Daddy Bird, coming to take the little bird back to his nest! Raw! 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 <laughs> Do it again! Uh-uh! <laughs> now it's time for Baby Bird to go to sleep. Aw, I wanted to tell you another story. You can tell me another story. Really? Sure, tomorrow night. <laughs> Is Rosie okay? She's still crying, and she didn't even eat her spaghetti. She'll be all right. Her teeth are growing in, and that can hurt. My teeth don't hurt. No, but when you were small like Rosie, they did. Really? Yep. Maybe I can cheer Rosie up. Maybe you can help, Caillou. See if you can get her to fall asleep. Okay. Caillou didn't like hearing his little sister cry. He wanted to make her feel better. Caillou! Shh, Rosie. Can't you fall asleep? Just try closing your eyes. Caillou tried to think what his mummy would do. Do you want me to sing you a song? Caillou, sing song! Rock the bye, Rosie, in the treetop. You have to go to sleep, cause it's night time. Dad says your teeth hurt. I hope you feel better soon. So rock a bye, Rosie. Go to sleep now. Caillou was very proud of his song, but Rosie wasn't falling asleep. Sing more! No, Rosie. You have to sleep now. 
Then Caillou had another idea. Just a minute, Rosie. Hmm. Caillou thought a special toy might help his little sister fall asleep. He just had to find the right one. <laughs> My very favorite. Here, Rosie, you can borrow my fire truck. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's okay, Mommy. It, it was just my fire truck. Oh, Gilbert. It's only you. Come and lie down with Rosie. See? Gilbert's going to sleep. So you have to go to sleep too, okay? Rosie won't bunny. Okay, Rosie. Hmm. But Bunny was nowhere to be found. I can't find Bunny. How about your kangaroo instead? No! Suddenly, <laughs> Caillou remembered where he last seen Rosie's Bunny. I'll be right back. Gilbert? <laughs> hmm. Rosie's bunny! Thanks, Gilbert! to tell you a story to help you go to sleep. Hmm, let's see. Aha! One day, Rosie and Caillou went to the fair and took a ride on a big merry-go-round on a kangaroo. <laughs> Rosie and Caillou all around the fair. Then the kangaroo jumped really, really high. Look, Rosie, we're flying like birds. Rosie, Caillou, flying! Flying in the sky was a lot of fun. They flew all the way up to the stars. Ooh, shiny! Wow, look at that! Pretty! <sighs> Rosie was getting tired. So the kangaroo took them back home. Rosie and Caillou waved goodbye to their new friend, the kangaroo, and went to bed. The end. Caillou was glad he had helped Rosie fall asleep. And now he was feeling very sleepy, too. Good night, Rosie. Sweet dreams. Good night, big brother Caillou. Caillou the Firefighter. Time to clean up, everyone. It's just about time for our special visitor. Caillou felt bad about not letting Leo wear his hat, but he really wanted to wear it for their special visitor. It's mine! No, it's mine! I had it! First, I had it first. Come on, give it to me. No way, it's mine. 
Then Caillou remembered what Miss Martin always told them about sharing and taking turns. Jason, why don't you let Jeffrey have it for a while? Psst, Leo, over here. We can take turns. I'll wear my hat for a little bit, and then you wear it, okay? Okay, thanks, Caillou. Children, does everyone know what a smoke detector is? Mm. Uh -huh. A smoke detector beeps to tell us if there's smoke in the air. Why is this important to know? Because if there's smoke, that means there's a fire somewhere. Right. We have a smoke detector in our classroom. Can you find it? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. Smoke rises up. So where should a smoke detector be? Hmm. Oh. There it is. <gasps> I see it's it. It's on the ceiling. It's up there. Yeah. Well done. Our visitor is here. Everyone sit down, please. Children, say good morning to the fire chief. Good morning. Hello, everybody. I see we already have four firefighters in the class. <laughs> I like your hats. Mine can be a bit heavy. Today, we'll practice what to do if there's a fire in the school. Does anyone know what that's called? A fire drill! Right. Now, first of all, fires don't happen very often if everyone is careful. But a fire can be dangerous, so we all need to know what to do if one starts. Today, we're going to test the fire alarm. Whenever you hear it, you should stop everything you're doing and leave the school. It's very, very... Loud! Would you like to hear how loud it is? Yeah! Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Was that loud enough for you? Yeah! So we've heard the alarm. Now we need to get outside quickly and carefully. Could I have some help from our four firefighters? Caillou wanted to help the fire chief. But he remembered that Leo wanted a turn wearing the hat, too. Here, Leo. You can be a helper. Thanks, Caillou. Okay, Leo. Give me your hand. Now, everyone, hold hands in a line. It's important to be very quiet as we go. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> Good work, everybody. I've got a friend in here who is very anxious to meet all of you. It's a dog. He's cute. This is Sparky. Come on, boy. Come meet my friends. <laughs> Would you like to see him do a trick? Yeah. yeah. Sparky, speak. Good boy! Now, how would you like to be the first to sit in the truck? Can Caillou come too? Sure! Yay! There's room for two. <laughs> it's too big! <laughs> rear, 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 rear! Would you like to sound the siren? Yes, please! Now get ready, because this siren is very, very loud. It has to tell all the cars on the road to pull over and let the fire truck through. Ready? Do it again, Caillou. It's Leo's turn.
to be a firefighter when I grow up. Well, we'd be very happy to have someone like you on the team. Thank you. Who wants to be next? <laughs> Here, Caillou. It's your turn to wear it now. Thanks, Leo. I'm going to be a firefighter when I grow up, too. <laughs> Caillou thought that he and his best friend, Leo, would be a great firefighting team. to the rescue. Guess what, Gilbert? Leo's coming over. I'm gonna show him the car Grandpa gave me. It used to belong to Daddy. It's in here somewhere. Here it is! <laughs> Gilbert, the toy box is for toys, not cats. <laughs> Dolly, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Now, Rosie, Leo's coming over to play cars. Dolly, hide! <laughs> Rosie, play too! <laughs> Not right now, Rosie. Play cars. No, Rosie, you're not big enough to play with these cars. Rosie, big! Not big like that. You have to be big like me. Rosie, help Caillou. Oh, Rosie! Caillou, like many big brothers, didn't like it when his little sister messed up his toys. Now I have to start all over. Leo's here! Are uh, you? <laughs> Hi, Leo. Guess what? My grandpa gave me a car that used to belong to my daddy. Wow, it must be really old. <laughs> uh-huh. And it has doors that open. Can I see? Sure, come on. Hey, Rosie, where are my cars? I bet we can find them. <laughs> Car is hiding. Where? <laughs> I think I know where to look. We have 
to rescue those cars. It's going to be a big job. I know how we can get them out. Follow me. <laughs> and you're here, Leo. <laughs> you get the other one. It's stuck. I'll help you. Hey, <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert, that tickles. Got it. Rescue team is ready for action. Hide and see. Rosie, play too. <laughs> still missing. So is the red one and the one with the black stripe. Let's use the crane. Here they are. Now they're all safe. This is the one that used to be Daddy's. What have you two been up to? All these cars were trapped in the rocks, and we rescued them. That sounds like hard work. You must be hungry. How about something to eat? Yes, yes please. please. Okay, then. While the two of you tidy this place up, I'll go and fix you a snack. <laughs> wasn't very happy about Rosie playing with his cars. But then he remembered how much fun he and Leo had rescuing them. Do you want to do another rescue, Leo? Yeah. Rosie, can you hide my cars again? <laughs> Rosie, hide car. Rosie could help us with the rescue. Yeah, she can drive the tow truck. Come on, Leo. We've got some more rescuing to do. just couldn't wait for the first snow of winter. Every morning he wished for snow. No snow yet. Caillou knew he had to wait a little longer, but it was hard. He wanted to play in the snow. Caillou watched and waited for the snow to fall. Still no snow. 
snow. Don't worry, Caillou. The forecast said it would snow today. You just have to be patient. Sometimes waiting for something <gasps> is the hardest thing to do. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump, Gilbert. Caillou was trying to teach Gilbert a new trick, but Gilbert wasn't very interested. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump. Lie down, Gilbert. Lie down. Stay. Gilbert. <gasps> mommy, Mommy! What is it, Caillou? It's snowing! It's snowing! <gasps> Aren't the snowflakes pretty? Can I go outside and play? Of course you can. Yay! <laughs> Caillou was in a big hurry to go outside. Whoa there. I think you'll be walking around in circles like that. <laughs> I'll walk like a duck. Quack, quack. I'm gonna build a snowman. I don't think there's enough snow for that yet, Caillou. Caillou knew Mommy was right. There wasn't enough snow for a snowman, but he could still make snow angels. <laughs> Caillou started thinking about the snowman he was going to build when there was more snow. Caillou imagined himself building the biggest snowman ever. There's more snow first. Look, I can catch snowflakes. I bet I can catch more snowflakes than you can. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that every snowflake is different? They look the same to me. That's because they're too small to really see. Wait here. I'll be right back. Caillou knew exactly what they needed to look at small things. A magnifying glass. Good idea. They're falling too fast. Caillou, quick! Caillou wondered how they were ever going to look at the snowflakes if they kept melting. Look, it's sticking over there. They are all different. It's true. I told you. Hey, how about we make our own snowflakes? How? Come on, I'll show you. Sarah had learned how to make paper snowflakes at school. So she showed Caillou how to make them, too. First, you take a piece of white paper and fold it into a square. Rosie, play, too! Then you take the scissors. Rosie, scissor! No, Rosie, you're too small. Why don't you draw some snowflakes instead? Rosie draws snowflakes. These scissors are just for big kids, like Sarah and me. What do I do next? Cut the corners very carefully. Then, cut all around the edges to make different designs. Then, you unfold the paper and... Ta-da! 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 Very good, Rosie. 
Caillou was proud of his snowflake. And he noticed something very special about it. Look, they're different, just like real snowflakes. Gilbert, look, we made snowflakes. I guess Caillou really did teach Gilbert a new trick after all. <laughs> He especially loved to skate really, really fast. Look how fast I can go! Wow, you're as fast as a rocket! Whoa! Oopsie daisy! <laughs> Uppy daisy! Caillou could remember when he was just as shaky on skates as his little sister. He was very proud to be such a good skater now. Hi, Billy! Hi, Caillou! Caillou loved to watch the big kids play hockey. They could skate so fast, he wanted to be just like them. What do you say, sport? Had enough? How about a cup of hot chocolate? Daddy, can I play hockey too? Oh, I don't know, Caillou. I'm big enough now, and I'm a good skater. As fast as a rocket. Well, that's true, but I don't think you're big enough to play on a team. I could play with Billy. Well, let's ask him. Billy! Can I play hockey with you sometime? If you don't mind. Sure, we're just fooling around. You can play with us whenever you like. Thanks, Billy. Well, I guess we're going to have to get you some equipment. Can I get a real hockey helmet and gloves like Billy's? You bet. And a stick, too, don't forget. Yay! The next day, Daddy took Caillou to a sports store to buy hockey equipment. This is the second-hand equipment. When kids get too big for their gear, they trade it in here for larger sizes. <laughs> Look, Daddy! <laughs> Too big. Here, try this. Too small. Just right. It doesn't hurt, Daddy. Good. Here, try these on. Let's go. I want to show Mommy and Rosie. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting the two most important things of all? I need a stick and a puck. Daddy found a hockey stick, but it was too long for Caillou. So the man in the store cut it to the exact right length. And now Caillou had everything he needed to play hockey with Billy. He was so excited. And this is my hockey stick and my gloves and... <laughs> Gilbert, you can't fit in there. Very nice, Caillou. You can knock on my head, and it doesn't even hurt, Rosie. Caillou's head hard. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Daddy helped Caillou practice shooting the puck. That's a pretty good shot there, Sport. Yay! 
Nice shot, Caillou. That afternoon, Caillou couldn't wait to get on the ice. He knew he was ready to play with the big kids. Take it slow, Caillou. Remember, it's not easy to play hockey. Hey, Caillou. <laughs> oh, oh. Daddy was right. It was harder than Caillou thought it would be. They're pretty good, aren't they? I'm not good enough. I don't want to play anymore. Hey, Caillou. I thought you did pretty well for your first time out. Remember, Billy and his friends have been playing a lot longer than you. I guess so. I've got something for you. This used to be mine when I was young. Wow! Thanks, Daddy! It's a little big yet. <laughs> if you keep practicing, by the time this fits you, you'll be able to play just as well as Billy and his friends. Really? You bet. Now, I think I know a good place to go and practice. Caillou loved going over to skate at Leo's house because he had his very own backyard rink. Whoa! Now you pass it to me. <laughs> Caillou was glad to be practicing with his best friend. He knew they would get better together. With an assist by Caillou. <laughs> that night, Caillou was very tired from all his hockey practice. But he was happy. He knew that someday when he was big enough to wear Daddy's jersey, he'd be a really good hockey player. Perfect. Once is not enough. You gotta practice day and night. Over and over and over again. You've gotta practice till it's right. I remember when I wanted to learn to skate. So I practiced over and over again. And soon I could skate great. Practice makes perfect, that's what I say. Practice makes perfect. Every day, practice makes perfect, I'll say it again. Practice and you'll succeed in the end. Playing soccer is hard. It is. You've got to give it your best try. I will. Practice over and over again, and soon you'll kick real high. Practice, practice makes, makes perfect. perfect, that's what I say. Practice, practice makes perfect. Every day, practice, practice makes perfect, we'll say it again. goes to bargaining. <laughs> Caillou was very excited this morning. He couldn't wait to get to play school. You're certainly keen to go to school today, Caillou. Today we're going to bargaining. <gasps> Do you have to bring a toboggan? Yes. I'm going to take my green space racer. Oh, Caillou. Why are you just telling me this now? It's time to go. Don't you know where my toboggan is? I'm not sure. We haven't been tobogganing yet this year, but let's look. Quickly. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou looked in the basement.
And they looked under the stairs. They even looked in the attic, but they couldn't find Caillou's toboggan anywhere. I'm sure we'll find your toboggan tonight. But I need it today. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we have to go. Maybe there'll be extra toboggans at school. <sighs> Caillou was sad that he didn't have his toboggan. There are no extra toboggans, Caillou, but I'm sure someone will share theirs with you. Goodbye, Caillou. Try to smile, honey. I'm sure you'll still have fun. Bye, Mommy. Oh, look my. at this wow. Yay. Oh, right. I can't wait to go to the park. Did you bring your green space racer, Caillou? No, we couldn't find it. You can use mine. We'll take turns. Thanks, Leo, but I want to have my own toboggan. Come along, everyone. It's time for lunch. Are you finished your lunch? Yes. Good. Can you come with me for a minute? Well, what do you think? It's just an empty box. It is now. But I think you could make it into something else. What? A toboggan. A toboggan? Yes. We used boxes as toboggans all the time. Some of them were really fast. Would it be all right if I decorated it a little? That's a wonderful idea. I bet your friends will help, too. Caillou spent lots of time decorating his box. He wanted it to look extra special. like a race car, Caillou? No, I want it to look like the bobsleds I saw on TV. me decorate it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure what has more paint on it, the toboggan or your faces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean up, everyone. It's almost time to go to the park. <laughs> when Caillou and his friends got to the park, they had all sorts of fun playing in the snow. <laughs> Who's ready to go to bargaining? Caillou, what are you waiting for? What if my toboggan won't slide? Miss Martin said it would. Come on, I'll race it to the top of the hill. Is everyone ready? Ready? 
Hmm. Ready. Ready, set, go! Toboggan, Caillou? I want to turn, too. Sure. Everybody can have a turn. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Caillou was proud of the toboggan he'd made and was glad it was big enough to share with all his friends. Ha <laughs> ha! 